Welcome to this bioinformatics course tutorial. Bioinformatics fundamentals depend on the public. Here we have to use some terms most often used by informaticians and biologists, but I'm sure you all have a strong enough background in both. We cannot speak about bioinformatics fundamentals without biotechnology. To be referring to the United Nations Convention on Biological Diversity, biotechnology describes any technological application that uses biological systems living organisms or derivatives thereof to make or modify products or processes for specific uses. One example would be using biochemistry in genetics to create a genetically modified organism. From this concept we can draw a simple map of the biotechnology scope. This map is organized around four principal axes. The first ring is a green biotech for plant modification and agricultural processes. The red biotech is for animals and healthcare practical purposes. The blue biotech is for aquatic bioengineering, which is a relatively new and growing section, and the black biotech includes industrial biotechnology uses. It is important to note that this figure is just a small representation of the area that biotechnology covers. Just to get an idea, a reference bioscience dictionary, Spellex Bioscience, has identified more than 13,000 biotechnical terms in its 2011 version. So you may ask me, where in the figure does bioinformatics fall? Informatics, or information technology with computer science, is used in each of these four branches. Then, bioinformatics tools, or informatics tools in the bio world, are used and applied in all of the domains. The bio world is too large and complex, and this is because there are billions of different elements to study. From the smallest elements like genetic material nucleotides, A, C, G, T, and U, to whole ecosystems and environmental factors. The bio world is complex because each element interacts with every other one, not to mention that some interactions are unknown. The researchers in biology work on a specific domain, like physiology, on a specialized theme, like cell growth and the apoptosis process in cancer development, and for a given moment, researchers work on one subject based only on one hypothesis to verify that hypothesis. In an epigenetic context, an example could be DNA methylation modifying the cell growth profile. The problem here exists in trying to have the right information at a crucial given moment in a scientist's research. In a large field such as biology, bioinformaticians usually focus on these categories. The transport level, which includes protein complexation and binding, passive active capitation and internalization, and transporters. The metabolic level includes direct acyclic graphs, dynamic tools, and data integration. Proteonomics, the study of the proteins and their interactions within a biological system. Genomics is the identification of genes and their functions by how they change in a biological system. Epigenomics is a genomic approach to studying genes whose function is determined by external factors. The complete figure helps represent the interaction of computer and mathematical tools towards the left and biological systems on the right. The species and biological interaction column helps represent the varying levels of interaction from extracellular transport to RNA transport out of a nucleus. This figure represents historical milestones that have placed bioinformatics at the heart of 21st century biology, from the determination of the first amino acid sequence to the development of an archive of 500 billion nucleotide sequences. Some major milestones are denoted in black, key computing innovations are indicated in purple, example databases are indicated in blue, organizations and institutions in green, numbers of sequences in red, the growing mass of which is highlighted both in the red curve and the background gradient. The impact of genomic sequencing in the mid-90s is clear and bioinformatics has helped make this possible. The figure here represents the interactions of approximately 100 genes. The human genome holds nearly 30,000 genes. It is hard to imagine the complexity of such interactions. These are some of the challenges bioinformaticians deal with when trying to model biological systems. Thus far, we have mostly talked about the biology world and its challenges, but in the other hand, we have the informatics world. This is the specialization of information manipulation. Remember, information is not necessarily limited to data. Mathematical, software, physics, and data manipulation tools are just a few of the utensils in an informatician's arsenal. So you may ask, how does art and music fit in with informatics or bioinformatics? In one sense, it is necessary to have an artistic and creative mind when designing biological models and software that must be interesting to the user. This is mostly because of the complexity mentioned previously. Music and sound studies have an interesting relationship with health diagnostics. 
Pneumologists can use the sound from a patient's thorax and lungs in order to discover where problems in the respiratory system come from. On another subject, some new musical research into creating music from DNA nucleotide sequences is now underway. At the top of this slide, we have a brief timeline of bioinformatics. It is hard to identify the beginning of bioinformatics as an idea or discipline. It could be the discovery of DNA structure by Watson and Crick in 1952, or the construction of the first 3D protein structure by Myriad and Prudes in 1963. Internationally, the conference in Europe in the 1990s had a large role in popularizing the idea and technology involved in bioinformatics. In the United States, the creation of the NCBI, or National Center for Biotechnology Information, in 1988 was an invaluable stride into bioinformatics. The depiction below shows a flow from major topics and disciplines to the idea of bioinformatics and computational biology. It is important to note that bioinformatics is the compilation or convergence of several larger disciplines and ideas. Here are some of the more fundamental bioinformatics sections. Genome sequencing, database production and management, protein sequencing, genomics, and modeling and simulation are a few common examples of the many different bioinformatics branches. Notice that the x-axis of this figure refers to an informatician's tools and knowledge, and the y-axis refers to biology tools and knowledge. From this setup, we can easily allot a location of each of the previously mentioned bioinformatics branches to a location within the figure. Now we can clearly see the relationship between major disciplines such as biology and informatics. Statistical genetics falls under gene and genome organization biologically, as well as mathematical and physical models in an informatics sense. We can also see how an understanding of all base disciplines is necessary to grasp bioinformatics. We have spoken about biological species and the complex interactions within and between them. The main issue is how can a mathematician understand these interactions. Biologists propose two key tools when looking in this direction. The lactose operand can be used to detail the mechanism of gene expression, and the central dogma of molecular biology can be used to understand interactions of genetic materials. Most of you are probably familiar with this, but we'll describe it briefly anyway. The gene regions of DNA in the nucleus of the cell are copied or transcribed into RNA. RNA then travels to protein production sites and is translated into proteins. In short, DNA to RNA to proteins is the central dogma of molecular biology. Imagine, there are trillions of cells in your body. The DNA of each of them is churning out thousands of RNAs, which in turn cause thousands of proteins to be produced every moment. These proteins are doing all kinds of jobs. Bioinformaticians must mathematically model all of these interactions. With the study of the lactose operon, Francois Jacob and his colleagues were the first scientists to describe a system for regulating gene transcription. They proposed the existence of two classes of genes that differ in their function, the structural genes and the regulatory genes. It is from this work that the concept of gene regulation was born. They received the Nobel Prize for Medicine in 1965. Besides just the transcription of genes, other elements can have an effect as shown by Jacob and his colleagues' work. Regulation and induction are a few more interactions that bioinformaticians are given to model. Hopefully you can begin to understand the interactions that form the discipline known as bioinformatics. Bioinformatics, in part, is about overcoming the challenges presented on both sides of biology and informatics. Try to bridge the gap. Thank you for watching this USD bioinformatics course on bioinformatics fundamentals.